Hello everyone, my name is Monica Gleberman, and you're listening to Silence On Set Podcast. On today's podcast, we're talking to the cast of Kaleidoscope, which is a new anthology series coming to Netflix. What makes the show special is that everybody that streams it will be watching it in a different order. So all of us will have different perspectives of the show and the characters as we continue to watch it. The show follows a crew of masterful thieves and their attempt to crack a seemingly unbreakable vault for the biggest payoff in history. Guarded by the world's most powerful corporate security team and with law enforcement on the case, every episode reveals a piece of an elaborate puzzle of corruption, greed, vengeance, scheming, loyalties, and betrayals. How did the crew of thieves plan it? Who gets away with it? Who can be trusted? Here to talk a little bit about it is Jai Courtney and Rosalind Elbay. Oh my gosh, I have Bob and Judy with me. <laughs> oh my god, hi Monica. How are you guys? Hey, what's up? I'm so excited to speak with both of you. So I know obviously everyone's going to talk about this because the show is the first time where everyone on Netflix in a weird way is going to be watching out of order in different ways and we're all going to see different things. So I wanted to know for you, for you guys as actors, did you guys know that in the beginning? And if you did, did it affect how you prepped for playing your characters? So I guess I'll start with Jai. No, it didn't really shift that that so much. I think the one thing that we had to be conscious of is that each episode can serve as the first thing uh, an audience member sees. And so sometimes there's just a little bit of extra attention paid to who they might be or how a character is introduced. But I honestly feel like most of that heavy lifting was done in the writing and it that was handled really well so that we weren't having to kind of solve those problems too much for ourselves. So what about for for you, Rosalind? Did you have to like change anything or did you just like jump in and kind of go with it? Yeah, I mean, I second all of that. I think actually, if anything, it, I mean, at first there was a bit of like a period of feeling very daunted by it. And like that, I that I mean, what Jai just said, which is um, every episode can serve as a pilot and what that means and what that means in terms of what you're trying to tell an audience about your character every time they might meet her. And then the flip side of that was there was something very freeing about kind of being like, that's not our job. Like actually there are very, very smart people who have solved those problems for us and have spent a long time doing that. And the script, the script from the off was so impressively detailed and referenced each other like so cleverly. Um, and up until the moment we stopped filming, we would like Eric, the showrunner would like say something and I'd be like, I didn't even realize that, like little references that were um, peppered all the way through that they, where they'd done the work for us. So as an actor, I could just kind of let go and just be Judy truthfully in whatever moment she was living at the time and not have to direct or, you know, think about that for myself, which is quite nice. So what can you guys say? I know it's difficult to um, <laughs> have you under lock and key, but what can you say about your characters? So like, who are they? What should we know? And what can you kind of tease for this? show bob is a a bit of a hustler um he deals in all kinds of things stuff you can ingest stuff you can uh you know use as a weapon he's uh he's a skilled safe cracker um and kind of a guy that can kind of get things done not necessarily a savory character but you know i don't think an all-around bad guy He's stuck in a cycle that he's struggling to break. And um, I don't think he's equipped with the emotional intelligence to get himself out of that. Watching him trip over himself uh, uh, along the way is um, it's going to be fun. Judy is, I think, a very resourceful, very self-sufficient person who's been kind of hardened into that by the way she's been brought up and how her life has gone so far. And I think we meet her at least in terms of when the heist takes place at a very interesting time. Because on the one hand, it's a job where she can showcase all of her skills as a chemist and an explosions expert and someone who can, you know, go around in disguises and put accents on and all these amazing skills that she has at her disposal. But also she is in her own cycle um, that she may or may not have the strength to break. and. The heist also coincides, I think, with a past version of her, herself or another way that her life could have gone kind of bubbles up um, within that crew. So 
lots of decisions to be made. I'm so excited. I have to wrap. I have so many questions for you guys, but I'm so excited for people to see the show. I'm so interested in, in everyone's response because we're all seeing it differently. So I'm sure you guys are really excited. Yeah, so yeah. But um, I just want to thank you guys because it's such a great show and it's oh. so interesting. And this idea is so crazy and you guys are like pioneering it. And I love just Bob and Judy. Love you guys. So Thanks. I'm so thank excited you. to see both of Thanks you. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Rosalyn. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I hope you have a great day. You, you too. too. Bye-bye. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to the cast of Kaleidoscope talk about what it was like for preparation, getting into their characters, and giving us a little bit of teasers for what we could expect for season one. All of the episodes will be available starting January 1st, 2023 on Netflix. And make sure you let your friends know which episode you watch, because remember, everybody will be seeing them in a different order, so you don't want to ruin it for your friends. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're updated on all of our latest podcasts and head over to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe so you're updated on all of our video content. Oh.